On your side, you're watching WRBL News 3 Saturday morning. The namesake of a popular eatery that has fed folks in the Fountain City for nearly four decades has decided to take her legacy digital. I spoke with the women behind Minnie's Uptown Restaurant and the Chicken Lady Coop on their decision. Rum balls. A dessert. Meet Minnie Hanneman, who opened Minnie's Uptown Restaurant in 1986 on the corner of 1st Avenue and 8th Street. Oh my goodness, if you would have seen that restaurant, you would never have opened it. <laughs> <laughs> and to begin with, it was the restaurant, and then the center area was a bakery, and on the end was on a laundromat. Mm -hmm. And they were all run down. It was all run down stuff. So I had to start out by fixing the walls and fixing the air conditioning, heating, and all that that you have to have in there. Mm -hmm. But it was, it, was, it was quite a job, but afterwards it was worth the effort mm -hmm. because the people started coming in and they were so happy to have a place to eat and good food to eat. Mm -hmm. So that, that took, started me out. There she shared her love for cooking and baking with generations of families in the Fountain City. Over the years, the business and the memories that came with it were passed down to her daughter, Rose, and now granddaughter, Melinda Newton. Earlier this month, Minnie was moved into assisted living. When helping decide what items and keepsakes would move with her, Melinda came across all of her handwritten recipes. The two decided to continue Minnie's legacy on social media, handpicking recipes to share daily. I started the Facebook page and she knows a little bit about Facebook um, from watching Minnie's restaurant on Facebook. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I showed her what I did and I was like, what do you think about this? We named it Minnie's Recipes and Memories. And her first thing was she smiled and like closed her hands and she's like, what an honor that people would want to see my recipes. In just over two weeks, the Facebook page, Minnie's Recipes and Memories, has already garnered more than a thousand followers. I think it's wonderful. I, th I think it's a great gift to the public, really. Melinda says the page has already created an online community of people joining together to celebrate Minnie's legacy. She starts reminiscing on all of those stories and then... Um, like the, it, the families involved in it, and they, they'll post on the page how many stayed up all night long baking cakes throughout the night so that the wedding cake was fresh when it was delivered the next day. So there's a lot of fun stuff that is coming from this. The discovery of the handwritten recipes has also stirred up several community efforts in honoring many. The Columbus Public Library is working with Melinda on preserving some of Minnie's recipes in their local history exhibit. Meanwhile, students at Columbus State University have started filming a documentary on Minnie and the history of the restaurant that continues to feed the Fountain City. Well, let's go to eat at Minnie's while I give them thanks. Minnie's Uptown Restaurant has been open for 36 years. Minnie says by sharing her recipes online, she hopes a social media page will inspire others to pursue their passions just like she has.